look at him. Pity. It's a big boy. Ain't you pretty? <laughs> Alright, let's go, buddy. Look at him all snugged up in the back. We haven't taken him in the car in a long time. You excited? He's gonna be scared. Yeah, we should have sat in the back with him. We should Don't worry, uh, I did sit in the back with him. <laughs> Going back. <laughs> go Pestmar, let's go buy him a little vest. We got a harness, this shit costing me 43 bucks. Leaving my cash up with 63 bucks in it. I know this is nervous. You don't know what we're doing. That shit is big. My boy is an X Hill. And just like that, Cuddy shots are all done. So we just got done doing all the things for the dog. I ended up sending my girlfriend $55, adding up the total to $75 for everything, I believe, leaving me with a total of $679 left in my bank account. And then in Cash App, we have $63 left. So those $63 will be going into eating for today. My girlfriend wants to go to Korean barbecue, so we're gonna go munch out there. After that, we're gonna hit Target, and that should be for the rest of the day. From the $679, 679 250 would be going into rent and 155 would be going into my clothing brand. We should be left with $274 at the end of the day. If we are left with that, maybe a little less because we are going to target. Uh, the rest of it would just be going into savings. We're going to try to save all of this until next paycheck so that we can at least build up some savings. We were able to put $500 into my debt for schools first, which means I only need 1519 left for my school's first loan. My next paycheck, I'm going to try to drop $1,000 on that debt. We'll see how the week goes. Next weekend, we are refing. One day, I'll catch you guys whenever I pick up the camera again. Oh, and we did upload two videos so far. About to upload a third video. We uploaded one for Cedric Games, one for Productive Pothead, and then we're gonna upload the daily vlog for Cedric's cash flow. Today's been a good productive day. Not too bad with the finances either. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. My girl for the Korean barbecue, she was the one that was craving it. I feel bad because we only ate one round because I wasn't hungry, like I wasn't craving it. So this is what I'm getting. The one with the compass is gonna be the daily journals. The one that says take notes is obviously gonna be for taking notes. And we're getting these two metal pens from Sharpie. So this is everything I'm gonna be getting right now. Here's a nice little Sharpie highlighter unboxing and pen. We're gonna see the quality. We're gonna see how good it writes. We're gonna see how beautiful it looks. Well, we got these highlighters because these are way better than these because you're actually able to see it through. That's me justifying this purchase. Pens, I needed some beautiful pens. You see, I have these pens, but these colorful ones, some of them don't even write good and some of them I don't like the, the point on it either. We're gonna keep these two pens, they're both black. All right, just finished uploading the third video for the day. First, we uploaded on Productive Pothead, then we uploaded on Cedric Games. Now, we just uploaded on Cedric's cash flow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy to think. The whole day, we haven't gotten distracted, thankfully. I know once the new week starts, it's gonna be hard. So, let's help ourselves by pre-cooking some meals so we don't spend any money but also so we could have a clear mind throughout the whole week.
So I basically do the prepping part. My girlfriend does not like to touch raw chicken. So I wash it and after that I put the seasoning but on one side. When she starts cooking it, she starts cooking it obviously with the, with the side that's seasoned first and then you season the other side that's not seasoned while it's cooking. That's just something I learned from Chipotle, honestly. But something I do want to do is learn some new recipes because if you guys haven't noticed, whenever we do cook, all we cook is rice and chicken. <laughs> so the goal is to be able to learn how to cook maybe some protein pasta. I don't know, something different. The seasoning that we use is this, lemon pepper. Pretty simple, pretty plain. Sometimes the chicken does come out dry, but I just feel like we just gotta learn how to cook more. Try to cut them into thin slices because it's easier to cook. One thing that I really do procrastinate on is cooking. As you guys know, I like to eat out, but you guys are absolutely correct. It takes one day to cook for five days. So obviously this is not gonna last us five days because this is for two people, but it should last us long enough so that we're not spending the whole week. Wash it one little last time. And diced up a little bit. Now we just add the lemon pepper. We gotta be extra loving with the lemon pepper. I don't think there's such thing as too much. Cause once you start cooking it, the flavor kinda, you know, goes. And then when you microwave it, it also like dries up so you want to have as much of this lemon pepper as possible this honestly should be enough for two to three days i think no, not enough not enough lemon pepper this how it looks with some seasoning on there and now it's ready to get cooked right now my girlfriend's gonna cook up the chicken and while she's cooking it up i'm gonna go edit a productive pothead I'm gonna go cut up the gaming and put up the pothead video so that tomorrow it's easy to edit and we just upload it basically. While my girl cooks that, I'm gonna go edit up some content so that tomorrow isn't too hard. Tomorrow we go to work, so obviously I'm gonna have less time than I did this weekend. At least I used the best out of the time I had this weekend. Next weekend I'm not gonna have as much time as I did this weekend either because we gotta go ref on Saturday and then Sunday we got another party. But we're gonna try our best to obviously still be productive. I still need to go on a run actually, fuck. I just forgot that. I can't lose already. I'm gonna go on the run. I'll catch y'all later. All right, so right now I'm gonna plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 20th, so. So we do have to do six non-negotiables every single day, which reading during lunch is gonna be one of them. It may seem like a lot, but this will help me map out my day and I guess prepare for the next day. This is something that I do want to make a part of my routine, which I will be doing whenever I journal. So obviously, but yeah, that is something that I've seen a lot of people recommend so that so the next day it can be easier to get things done. You got to prepare the night before. That is something that I do need to focus on because usually before going to sleep, the last thing I do is uploading my video and right away I just go straight to sleep. I need to take the time, even if it's 30 minutes, even if it's 45, sometimes it'll be 15 minutes. Who knows how long it'll take for me to journal, but it shouldn't take too much time for me to journal and plan out the next day. That's enough yapping for me for tonight. I gotta get some rest because tomorrow is gonna be a hectic day. It's gonna be fun though.